Don't go in there. My name's Austin Hargett, and I've been a welder for 15 years. Five of those years, I've been a welding educator and a certified welding inspector. And when I say from the power plants, pipelines, to the fab shops, I've noticed one trend. Not everyone takes care of their personal protective respiratory system. There's a lot of fumes and smoke that comes out of welding, and it's not always the company's job to make sure that you're safe. It's ultimately up to you as the individual to protect yourself. So we're gonna go over five things that you can do to prevent breathing in the bad stuff. But the first thing is really easy. I mean, we wouldn't even count it as the five. It's just common sense. You see the plume of welding smoke, right? It's above your head. It's coming right off the welding. Don't put your face right over top of the plume of smoke. It's that simple. Move your head. Weld outside in a well-ventilated area uh, where you got nice sunshine and rays. Whether you're grinding on a bunch of rusty steel with your scotch Brite 3M abrasives, it's just throwing off all that nasty stuff with the plume of smoke. It's just going out and about, and that's fine. That's gonna be the cheapest way to prevent breathing in the smoke, Keep keeping your head out of the smoke and working outside. But if the weather doesn't permit or we don't have that option, we've got to take things inside where things can get a little bit smoky. So currently I've been cooking up a few things in the shop, some new hard facing wire that I've been trying out for an upcoming project. I've got this art project. These things, what they have in common is they get and they produce some real toxic fumes. A real easy fix would be simply walking back here and then flipping a fan on to get some air moving around or just opening oh, a window here and maybe a window there to really get air moving through this place so it's not so stuffy, so stifling. The problem with this is now we have external breezes coming through and I'm gonna be TIG welding on this and MIG welding on this. And if you know anything about that, you're gonna need shielding gas. If any of those breezes come through, we're gonna get porosity. So this is the big downfall of having that beautiful breeze blowing on you. It feels so good in the hot summer, but you can't always have that. So you gotta think of a different option. Okay, so our fans are blowing, got the windows open, the doors open. We've got as much ventilation in this shop as we possibly can have. I can still smell the, you know, the smoke, the fumes, so that means I'm still breathing it. As far as option three out of the five that we're running right now, I've got a combo of two options for this one. If you don't want those black boogers at the end of the day, an option for you might be this O2 armor. There are these small little filters that I have up in my nose right now and they'll block anything that comes right on through, and you'll notice that those screens get blackened up. That's nasty. And it's a nice option. Again, it's better than nothing, but it kind of feels like you have a stopped up nose, and for me, I tend to want to mouth breathe a little bit, and if you're breathing through your mouth, not a lot of good it's doing. But in combination with what I have here, and again, like I told you, I'm practicing for a job that we're doing, doing a lot of hard facing and cladding. If you know anything about hard facing and cladding, typically you need nickel and chrome in order to have some of those good bits and good characteristics as far as for hard facing and cladding. The problem with that is that chrome is in stainless, AKA chromium, AKA hexavalent chromium when it burns and that stuff is really bad for your health. So burning stainless or burning chrome really isn't any good. Hard facing has a lot of it but I stumbled upon this wire called Safe Hard 600, which I think is aptly named. Uh, I stumbled upon this wire, scrolling through the internet, trying to find a solution for hard facing, and I found an e-commerce store by Castle and Eutectic. You can check out the link below, go look at it. They've got all kinds of welding goodies on the store, but I stumbled across this Safe Hard 600, and the thing that really drew me to it is the fact that it still has a really high Brunel hardness rating at 600. So it's got a really hard uh, characteristics to its mechanical properties because of all the alloys that are in this kind of metal core wire. Typically in hard facing, they're going to sprinkle in a little bit of chrome and nickel because of the mechanical properties that it adds to steel for wear and abrasion resistance. This stuff doesn't have any, and it still has that same 600 uh, Brunel hardness rating in it, which is fantastic, it's super hard. You can kind of think a little bit easy and not worry about the fact that you're breathing in those hexavalent chromiums when you're running this Castle and Eutectic Safe Hard 600 and combination with the O2 armor in my nose and a fan and a little bit of a breeze. And we really haven't spent a whole lot of money if you think about it. O2 armor, a couple bucks, and if you're already buying the wire for hard facing anyway, it's just kind of something to just consider. Also know this, those toxic fumes, they don't care. They don't discriminate on the process, whether you're doing heavy duty flux core or stick work, or you're doing some light dainty TIG. 
you're still melting the metal and you're still producing harmful fumes. I've got nothing but harmful stuff right here. We've got stainless steel and brass. Now these are gonna produce hexavalent chromium. The brass was gonna produce zinc burn off and it's gonna make us get really sick. And, and again, with the long-term effects, you don't want this. So a good middle road is getting a simple respirator. They're really common, you'll find these a lot, but most people just don't bother wearing them and it's a shame. I don't like this one in particular because the straps, they just don't fit my head really well. But this one from 3M, it's really affordable. The filters are replaceable and easy to snap on and off and it's really easy to get on and off of my head. The big downfall to these is they're just not always the most comfortable thing and as you get them on your face, one, you can't talk to anybody and you might be fogging up your glasses and if you got a nice beard like me then it doesn't produce the best seal all the way around although it is a really good option it's not the best thing out there but man it's better than breathing this crap just a quick snap on and you're good to go I like this one because it is simple to take on and off. The other one, not so much. This is some good middle of the road. But you're gonna want something like that. I mean, just look at all that crap. That's not from even welding all that much. All these options have been really cost efficient. Everything that we've gone over so far, you should definitely be practicing in order to stay as safe as possible. But if you end up getting kind of a wild hair and you want to spend some coin to make sure that you have the ultimate safety feature you get yourself a PAPR system I've got these from pure flow one's a welder one's a grinder and they're the best option out there things look pretty easy enough to use right out of the box it just comes with a battery and a filter I think the batteries last somewhere around five hours and you just stick this old dog right on your head torque it down like a normal welding hood no one said that you was gonna look cool wearing one of these then you got this little flap right here that comes under. Doesn't make a difference if you got a beard or not. I don't know if y'all can hear me, but I'm completely, completely safe in here. I can just turn on this fresh air button. Where's she at? Where's my fresh air? Don't panic. Don't panic. No, but for real, where's the button? It's getting kind of hot in here. Oh, I'm freaking out. Where's the button? Okay, I found the button. It's right here. That's better. It filters fresh air in, keeping the screen fog free. I don't have to smell my own breath. It's really nice. I can pick up my filler metal down here. Like I said, nobody said you look cool in one of these, but I'm completely isolated now. It's battery powered. There's nothing on my hip. It's fairly lightweight and I can weld. Not bad, it's a little heavier than all the options, but this is kind of nice. It's kind of got AC in here. Ooh, it's a lot better than the, this humidity in my shop. Guys, I hope this was a helpful episode for you guys to understand, again, the health concerns that are welding and breathing in these toxic fumes. You shouldn't do it. It's something that we all get complacent doing, and again, your employer's not responsible for you. Your buddy's not responsible for you. It is you who is ultimately responsible for your own health. So that being said, I put a bunch of nasty welds trying to practice this hard facing. So I'm going to put on my Pure Flow PAPR, turn my button on, flip this old dog down, and get to business. We'll see you guys on the next one. No problemo.